This is the Afternoon Buzz Rewind Podcast. I'm your host, Johnny Thrash. Join me for the Afternoon Buzz weekdays from 2 to 7, only on Real Rock Radio, 106.3 The Buzz. What's your rewind? There's a women's advocacy group called Ultraviolet that has called for Spotify to remove the Red Hot Chili Peppers, among others, from their service because the musicians were being, quote, glorified despite allegations of abuse. The thing with the Chili Peppers, Anthony Kiedis had a sexual relationship with a 13-year-old girl when he was 23. Actually, that's the first I had heard of that. And yeah, that, that sucks. I mean, wow. But here's the thing. You're opening up a big old can of worms at this point because... Well, you're denying consumers of what they're paying for because of allegations or some sort of misconduct. Where do you draw the line? I know personally, I'm a, a big Spotify guy. You know, I've been on board since they launched here in the U.S., one of their earliest subscribers. I love them because I can go listen to whatever I want to whenever I want to. But if it becomes where, well, no, you can't necessarily listen to that because, you know, this guy had a sexual relationship, an inappropriate sexual relationship when he was young. Well, that's that's yeah, that sucks. That's bad. But I'm paying for this so I can hear the chili peppers when I want to hear them. And now I can't. And well, I'm going to go bye bye. Nine Inch Nails so far have released two of the three EPs as a part of their trilogy. The third one, Bad Witch, is out on June 22nd, but it's not an EP this time around. They're calling it an LP. It's uh, right at about 30 minutes. Well, apparently that is the source of a heated debate on the Echoing the Sound fan forum with one fan, you know, being uh, adamant about it being an EP, saying that an album will be seven tracks at minimum and over 30 minutes, uh, saying that the EP must have been delayed for obvious reasons, but the real fact is lack of inspiration. Well, Trent Reznor got pissed about that, saying... Because he does, he does quote on there under the surname Titan. He went on and said, it's being labeled an LP instead of an EP because EPs show up with singles and Spotify and other streaming services, and they get lost easier. Well, he went on to take a shot at this, uh, this other user saying to suck my entire, uh, you get the picture. And he's talking about the whole thing, not just part, the whole thing. Read the story at 1063thebuzz.com. 1063 The Buzz presents Nonsense Minute. I'm tired of trying to meet cool girls at my fire dancing class. I just want a guy who will take me to dinner at the food trucks. Having a hard time finding someone with your same interests? Yeah. Yeah. Now you can try hipstermatch.com. I'm Seth, and I've been growing my beard for three years. No trimming at all. Oh, and I dyed it red to match my favorite pair of skinny jeans. I'm Chloe, and I make tiny hats, but not for your head. The reason that Hipster Match works is our ironic algorithm used to select your perfect hipster match. Do you want to go to the spoken word open mic in the park at midnight? Do I ever? I just wrote an acapella rap on my Etch-A-Sketch. And the Hipster Match photo uploader automatically Instagrams every picture so it looks like shit. I'm Clementine. Call me Clemmy. I like Johnny Cash and Salt and Pepper. I'm Dex. I have a dog named Moose and a tattoo of a tattoo. So if you like vinyl collections, drumming with friends, and ironic Phil Collins t-shirts dipped in patchouli, let's FaceTime. No, let's write letters on paper. <laughs> <laughs> let's listen to terrible music. On purpose. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should try hipstermatch.com. Pearl Jam gave us the new tune Can't Deny Me back in March and said it's going to be on the band's next album. So you would think, well, the album's imminent, but that's not the case. Jeff Amin says, you know, they've got a lot coming up. They have rehearsals for Europe and in the shows this summer. So the new album's in a little bit of a limbo state right now. They still need to record it. They haven't recorded anything at all. In fact, there are just a lot of ideas. So it's probably going to be 2019 before we get their next studio album, but... No guarantees there. The former chief of police out in Olney is facing several charges after being investigated by the Texas Rangers. An alleged victim told investigators that back on December 20th, Robert Cross sexually assaulted him at a movie theater here in town. And a female witness reportedly confirmed to the investigators that she witnessed the assault. Now he's been locked up facing five charges out of Young County, two counts of official oppression, Two counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and one count of sexual assault. And he's also charged with a single count of sexual assault here in Wichita County. Now, I don't know if he's still locked up or not, but you know an extended vacation is coming soon and it sounds like it is well deserved. Get the full story on our free mobile app or at 1063thebuzz.com. Another Nonsense Minute brought to you by 1063 The Buzz. Facebook for dummies. Facebook is a social networking site, so you can share news no one cares about with friends you've never met. Here are some tips. 
Don't accept a friend request from your mom. Oh, hey, it's mom. Unless you want her to see all the pictures of you lap dancing drunk for Japanese businessmen last Halloween. Oh, dear. At some point, someone you don't give a crap about may send you a poke. poke. What they're saying is, please notice me. I am lonely and sad. What? And drunk. Hey. If you're in a relationship hey. and it's not complicated, shut up. You, shut up. you are not in a relationship. When it's your birthday, hundreds of strangers will wish you happy birthday. Some guys may send you penis pics. <laughs> If you post an ultrasound of your unborn child, somebody will inappropriately comment, LOL, that's gross. Or, Any idea who the father is? Or, Did you check for downs? So instead, Instagram a hilarious photo of your cat. Have fun Facebooking, but don't buy Facebook stock. This has been Facebook for Dummies. Like it or not, ACDC are going to record a new album with Axl Rose. Mark my words. I mean, you've had insiders saying that they are going to do a new album together and chris slade drummer for the band was asked about that in an interview here recently and he said his lips are sealed and if he knew he couldn't say a word anyway he couldn't even start to answer that he's afraid i'm telling you man they're gonna do it and personally i just haven't been blown away by an acdc album since the razor's edge i would be interested in hearing what they could do maybe it brings a new spark to the band don't know a 50-year-old guy named Jeffrey Sable and a 32-year-old woman named Santa Walters went to a Walmart in Largo, Florida last week, and they stole one of the motorized shopping carts and rode it to a bar. So we plugged the Walmart and the bar into Google Maps and found they were a whopping 0.7 miles away from each other. So basically, they stole the motorized shopping cart to keep from walking for 14 minutes. So the cops found them and the car at the bar and they were arrested for theft i guess they've never heard of uber or maybe walking i mean it's surprisingly good for you 1063 the buzz presents nonsense minute (laughs) so what are you uh studying in college i'm studying the human genome the what the human genome (laughs) they're called gnomes they live under mushrooms what the g is silent even i know that (laughs) they're like smurfs are you stupid Millions of people suffer from being a dumbass. Well, now there's help. Introducing books. That's like Scoob backwards. Scooby snack! Books have words in them that say stuff. So you're saying if I get some bacon... Books. Books. They will help for me to know stuff more of? Yes, Yoda. No, I was doing Scooby-Doo. Scooby snack! Books. Uh, Maybe you should eat some books. Get one today. (gasps) There's more than one? Dave Grohl still can't listen to Nirvana records. You know, he said it was years before he felt like listening to any music at all after Kurt Cobain took his own life. But he says, you know, there's always Nirvana songs on everywhere. You know, he doesn't put them on, but he's going to hear Nirvana when he gets in a car or he goes into a shop. He says, the thing is, it's so personal for him. He remembers everything about those records, the shorts he was wearing when they recorded, or if it snowed that day. So you just imagine being him, as painful as it is for fans, you know, this is a friend and a bandmate he lost. And I mean, you, you don't get over that sort of thing. You can read more at 1063thebuzz.com. While Lincoln Park have vowed to continue after the loss of Chester Bennington last summer, they're not really sure how they're going to continue. So in the meantime, Mike Shinoda is pursuing a solo career. And let's face it, outside of Lincoln Park fan circles, he's not necessarily a household name. So a bit of this is really building up from scratch because he's never done anything under his own name. But his debut album, Post Traumatic, is due out on June 15th. Another Nonsense Minute, brought to you by 106.3 The Buzz. Tired of boring vacations where you just relax? Come to Mexico. I know, you keep hearing about all the drug wars going on, but hey, we're fighting over drugs. Haven't you ever gotten in a fight over drugs? With your ex-girlfriend? Mexico has lots of great things to see. Have you ever seen dead people? It's pretty cool. I'm sure you might read a headline about a bloodbath at a car wash. But you weren't going to wash your car here anyway. So the next time you want adventure, come to Mexico. Just like the Old West, but not. And in Spanish, Mexico. Don't be a pollo. Alex Lifeson says Rush have no plans to tour or record again in the future. Neil Peart's retired. You know, he's had a lot of problems 
with tendonitis. So after they wrapped up their last North American tour, he was like, yeah, calling it quits. And Mike Portnoy's name comes up a lot when people talk about someone collaborating with the guys from Rush because, let's face it, Mike Portnoy's one of the best in the business. And he gets asked about it a lot, and he says, you know, he'd work with them in any capacity should they ever want to, but he doesn't think they will ever play together as Rush without the three members of the band. He honestly doesn't think they will. It will only ever be the three of them. I agree with that. I can't uh, imagine them recording as Rush or doing anything as Rush without Neil Peart on drums, but it would be interesting to hear what Alex Lifeson and Getty Lee could do with Mike Portnoy. Hey, thanks for checking out the Afternoon Buzz Rewind podcast. Join me, Johnny Thrash, for the Afternoon Buzz weekdays from 2 to 7 on Real Rock Radio, 106.3 The Buzz.